Hey guys, Bill, the Kansas Flamingo Chef, joined by Panther, who apparently wants to be part of the video. That's all right. Hey, it's a big day because today was the very first day I was able to find a bottle of Traveler. And if you haven't heard about this, well, first of all, I know you've heard about it because that's why you're here. You probably saw it was a review of Traveler. Well, we're going to open this and find out what it tastes like. It's kind of an interesting product. I mean, if you uh, you look at the history behind it, nobody's really sure exactly what it is. Buffalo Trace is bottling it, but it's a collaboration with uh, Buffalo Trace, a master distiller, and of all people, Chris Stapleton. Now, it's named Traveler to give homage to his first album, which was Traveler. If you're a Chris Stapleton fan like me, it's kind of a a win-win. I, I really want it to be good, and I'm a Buffalo Trace fanatic, so I really want it to be good, but I'm a little concerned because my understanding is there are no neutral grain spirits. I mean, you can read all of the information online, and it's selling, retailing for $39.99, and that's what I got it for here locally in Wichita, but I'm told people are paying a lot more. But we know it's not a bourbon because it flat says whiskey, not bourbon. We know it's a blend. We know it's blend number 40. And according to the back of the bottle, it was nearly 50 different blend attempts. And this was the one they chose. So, I, I mean, it, it's designed by Harlan Wheatley. It can't be bad, right? And it came out of Buffalo Trace. What we do know for a fact is that it's a blend of Sazerac products. Now, that could be just about anything because they own a lot of stuff. I mean, they own 1792. Obviously, they own Sazerac. They own Blanton's and Buffalo Trace and, and even uh, Caribou, Canadian whiskey. So, as far as I know, it could be a blend of any of this, or it could even be a Canadian whiskey. So, I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to smell like and taste like. And the only way to find out is to open it up. One of the things I will say I like about the bottle is it's very simple. It, it looks almost uh, frontier-like with the cork and the, the label on the back giving the information. And then the inside of the label actually giving a map of travels. It's kind of cool. It's a 90 proof. So it's the same proof as Buffalo Trace. Uh, let's just find out. It's got a decent nose. I get a lot of vanilla. Uh, a lot of vanilla. Uh, and... Well, that's interesting. So the only way I know how to explain this, it kind of smells like a vanilla cupcake. It has that real vanilla smell and a little bit of caramel. Let's find out. Okay, so my first impressions, a lot of vanilla, a lot of vanilla, very little oak. I get a little caramel, um, almost an apple flavor, kind of like that sweetness of apple juice when it first hits your mouth. There is no cheek feel at all, so I'm guessing there's not much rye in this because I don't get that heat. And as far as the Kentucky Hug, it, it feels more like a Canadian whiskey. It feels a little thin. Um, it tastes decent. I mean, I don't know that I would go out and spend $100 a bottle for it. In fact, I know I wouldn't. But if you can find one for retail for 40 bucks, yeah, it's not bad.
Now, I will say this. If I have, if I'm comparing it to this, they're nowhere, they're not even similar. This has that rye kick and the strength of a strong whiskey. This is very almost almost an empty finish. It's like there's nothing left behind. And if you're not a big bourbon drinker, that's not a bad thing. But if you're a big bourbon drinker, I don't know how to explain it, except that one of the reasons that bourbon drinkers drink bourbon is because there's that heavy finish on the end. This just doesn't have that. That's It's very much more like a good blended Canadian whiskey. It, I'm not knocking it. It tastes good. I'll definitely drink it. But I don't think I'd go spend a lot of time and money trying to locate it. That said, if you can find it for retail, pick one up. I, I, I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it my endorsement. I like it. I I understand it comes out of Buffalo Trace as far as they're bottling it, but I I would venture to say it's not a technically a Buffalo Trace build. It just doesn't have that that mash feel of a Buffalo Trace. Nevertheless, it's good. Um, it's very clean, very simple. There's not a lingering flavor. So if you're a, new to whiskey or you're a whiskey drinker that doesn't like the really hard quote unquote feel of a of a good bourbon this might be for you until next time eat fabulous drink fabulous let me know if there's something you'd like to know about something you'd like me to try a cocktail you'd like me to make i got a bunch of cocktail videos coming up this weekend and of course if there's food you'd like me to make we'll see you soon